Hey loves, it's been a long time since I came all here to talk to you. <laughs> hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It is Ifama John here and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel, join this beautiful family. And if you're already part of this beautiful family, I'm so thankful for you guys. I'm glad you guys came back today to watch this video. I'm glad for sticking around, supporting me, watching my videos, subscribing and all those that come to say hi to me in school. I'm so glad you guys too. I'm so grateful and I'm going to say a big thank you to you guys. Thank you so much. And for those that have subscribed so far, thank you so much for subscribing. It is Ifama John. And if you don't know me, I create lifestyle content. It's uni content, uni vlogs. And lifestyle content and basically anything that has to do with daily activities. <laughs> so guys, I have been long gone. I've been gone from YouTube for like three weeks or two weeks, and that seems like a month. And guys, I know why you guys, you guys are saying, why this girl with glasses on her head? Because this hair, this new hair I did on Sunday, it's giving me a new kind of vibe. Because one thing is, whenever I get my new braids, new braids done, I have this new kind of personality in me. Well, it's kind of new kind of energy, like in me. So I love my hair. I love how it looks. I look pretty in it. <laughs> I look pretty in it. <laughs> I just like everything about my hair. The, the stress I've been through this semester has been a lot, honestly. When I resumed in 100 level, when I was in my first year in uni, it was a whole different thing altogether. Like I resumed uni, I even came very late. So like resumed around August in 2019 and I resumed around September because I traveled for summer. So I came back late because I was still trying to you know, enjoy myself. I just graduated from secondary school and when i came back i had a lot of things to like you know work on I had a lot of things to like catch up on assignments quizzes tests like my registration um process and all of that and my my friends that already came to school before me like they did all of those things and they were like you know settled in except for one of my friends i also resumed that same week i resumed so we had to like sort out our issues together and i thought in my head that that time the 100 level was very hard but right now, as I'm in my final year, I'm not trying to use it to brag. Like being in final year, like before I was like, oh, period, yeah, per, we're in final year, we're gonna, you know. But now I'm like, my head has calmed down because I've been through a lot. 100 level was like a phase where, like, you know, we just got into uni. Oh, it's, you know, when you just get into somewhere, just get into a new environment and you're trying to settle in, you're trying to you know, adapt to the place, you're still trying to figure out how to you know, cope in that environment. And then you're, having this speculation this assumption or this kind of you know thinking that okay this place this thing is hard this 100 level is hard but then now i'm saying that time 100 level wasn't hard actually like that was the easiest semester like it's the easiest semester that i ever had in this school because why not because this semester i mean the one that killed me but well, i have a, i saw the living god that is here to constantly protect me is here to constantly strengthen me because since i have left my eyes as i said in my last video like i've shed tears like my tears, guys, I don't want to speak about it because sometimes I'm just on my laptop just doing my project and I'm confused on what to do and I just start crying. I just bend down. My friends are like, from what is wrong? what's wrong? And then they are coming to me. They are consoling me. Fuma, it's going to be all right. It's going to be fine. And I'm saying, please, hold your fine. Let me cry it out. I know my crying is not going to solve the matter, but I want to cry. Maybe this crying, you know, try to, you know, to do something in my life. But guys, this semester... <laughs> I'm laughing now, but it was not funny. Like this last week, Monday was my defense, and that in my head, like I, when I resumed um, this semester, I was like, you know, I'm gonna start off this semester very you new, know, being serious, agile, all of that. And the first day I came to school, like the second day, I was literally in tears, as you guys saw in my video. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it up here where they like cut my hair. My hair was way too long, and I know some of you guys be like, this hair I'm seeing from the side is like it's too long, but guys, it's not long. Look at my hair here it's moderate as you guys can see it's not long so um they won't see my hair downstairs and they didn't complain so thankfully not to get to my hair this time around but um they cut my hair because my hair was too long and if you don't know i attend back university so um in my school it's only like shoulder length is the only thing that's allowed you don't you don't go beyond that and you know i try to do like you know i try to you know, do long hair and you know pack it up like up and they cut me and they told me to cut it and i cut i almost went bald guys i always set a picture on the screen i almost went bald with that hair and i cried a lot but i hadn't i i, I couldn't like I, I i can actually let go of some parts of my hair 
and get my accommodation because they were actually like trying to deny me of my accommodation because of my long hair and i was the one that disobeyed so i deserved that in a way so um i had to cut my hair and that was done i didn't even know that that was the beginning of how we start crying this semester like that was like the major like the pillar of my tears this semester because this semester we had the launch of, of assignments to do we had like 10 assignments like in a week i had like eight assignments that i do like both group assignments and personal assignments that i had to do with my group members and guys that was so tough on me and having to do that together with my project was something that was very very you know inconvenient for me but at the same time i had to deal with all of that because if i don't do with that if i don't deal with that um it's going to be my own problem it's going to affect my results it's going to affect my cgp it's going to affect a whole lot of things and who wants to stay an extra year not me not me definitely not the former because i've had enough of the stress <laughs> so um i went through a lot we had assignments we had projects trying to you know figure out all of those things all together was a hassle for me but i constantly prayed as i was praying i was still having doubts at the same time i was just all over the place i was just thinking i was it was a lot for me honestly guys for a project you have like your chapters one to three uh, chapter, sorry so chapters one to five actually and then for this semester we're meant to like do our chapter one to three put your supervisor so you can supervise your work know whether you're doing your work well or not so you can make possible corrections where they need to be made and i met my supervisor and my course mates for like help sometimes and went through my work and that was done and guys i put myself in a lot of stress sometimes some nights nights were stressful for me i would go to like the activity hall in my hostel like an activity hall in my hostel is actually like a, a big like hall where students go like for worship and to read their books if you don't use the reading room in your hostel so i went to like, the activity hall in my hostel every night for my project for a whole week i went there to do things it's not, not as if i couldn't stay in my space but the thing here is that in our hall in our hostel there was a very bad network but down there there's a good network and my wi-fi my wi-fi had to like go downstairs with that so that you know i can be able to you know gain access to network good network so whenever i went there like i had this settled mind and i would stay there from like 8 p.m i'm not going to lie to you guys 8 p.m 9 p.m and i'll stay there till like dawn till 5 p.m till 6 sorry till 5 a.m till 6 a.m in the morning and i was killing my health i didn't know that i was just stressing myself i was like i must get this done i must get this done that's my the only mindset that was in my head i wasn't even thinking about myself i was like i have to get this done because uh me project defense was like let me say next week and for this week i was trying to you know, get everything done my chapters one two three and that was such a hassle for me i went to my supervisor for constant help he went to my chapter three and it was finally done so last week sunday not like so last week sunday i missed a huge event if you're a back university student you will be already be aware of this um miss Shimo with her husband they were both invited to our school for a concert on Sunday, last week Sunday, and I couldn't attend because my supervisor wanted to meet up with me on that same Sunday by 4 p.m. and she was meant to start the concert by like 5 p.m. and I had to meet up with my supervisor by from 4 to 8 p.m. that day with my fellow um, classmates that were under the same supervisor as I was and we went to him to like rectify everything because the following day was our defense. Do you get? Messi Chimo came and then defense the next day. How is that even possible? So, a lot of people wanted to attend but as much as i wanted to attend that event i had to you know go for that um, meeting and then i met up with him he made his corrections and i had to effect them that same evening so that i could send it to the guy that would print it for me and then i could pick it up in the morning before my defense actually I had my defense on tuesday not monday so the next more so guys um after the meeting i went on to the cafeteria to pick up my my dinner and Guys, after having that meal, like I rushed the meal because I hadn't had any meal that, throughout that day because of the fact that I was, you know, consumed by the fact that I had to focus and finish my project before Tuesday, which was my defense. That was from Sunday. I had to finish on Sunday and Tuesday was my defense. I had to wrap up on Sunday, read the um, content on Monday and be prepared for Tuesday. And guys, I rushed that meal that evening and then I went to bed. I slept for like 30 minutes because I wanted to wake up later in the evening to complete, like do my, effect my corrections on my work. And... As I slept off, and then after 30 minutes, I woke up and I was feeling this kind of indigestion in my, my throat. I was just feeling like my food was hooked up here. It hadn't like gone into my, my belly yet. And guys, I was feeling so uncomfortable that I had to speak to my roommate about it. And she was like telling me that I should like, you know, sit down well, like try to relax myself on the wall. And I, I was still at the, at the same time, I was feeling very uncomfortable. So I was feeling very nauseous. I wanted to go and throw up everything I've eaten so far. And 
my stomach was just spinning me at the same time so guys i had to go to the bathroom i used the bathroom i i threw up everything i ate like i didn't know how to put this but guys i was i was i was i was not it was not that day was just not my day everything went out of my belly and from there i said like like i had diarrhea like diarrhea i know what it means you know how huge that sounds i had it that day but toilets throwing up everything just coming all at once that day and i was feeling so overwhelmed i don't know what i should say because of the stress anxiety that i was feeling throughout the entire period of this semester so um that happened i was feeling very like very very tired that evening i couldn't even hold myself i had to call my friends they came to my room controlling me because i was feeling well around i was praying at the same time the fact that i was about to fall ill a day before my defense and it was just overwhelming i was admitted at the hospital they didn't allow me to go back to my hall they told me that i couldn't go back to my hall and i pleaded with them let me go back to my hall have my bath come back and take continue taking my iv injection like my, my iv drip or something i don't even know what they call it but they told me that they couldn't allow me because i them that tells them that they wanted to go back to their hall and have their bath they always ran away from there so they won't allow me so i had to plead and plead before they allowed me to go back to my hall i picked up a few things took my laptop again i'm going to insert a clip here and i was still working on my projects while on the hospital bed guys it was that serious like i took it that serious so um the anxiety altogether all of those things were factors that like you know made me fall ill so um i was able to plead with them for them to discharge me on the same monday because i had defense on tuesday and i couldn't miss that for anything so i had to beg them and you know they signed me out from the hospital and they like give me prescribed drugs for me i took that back to my hostel i had some food and i took my medicine and you know i prayed to god to help me to strengthen me for the next day because i was very weak i was still weak i was so so weak on monday the monday before my defense so on tuesday hopefully um i got to my defense and um, another problem i had was my dress for my defense my dress for my defense the person that made it was like it was too tight i couldn't fix it because i was ill and all of that just managed my dress like that but it still turned out well as people complimented me that day because of the dress funny enough i didn't like it that much because the detail that i wanted in the dress didn't really come out so um the major thing is that i was alive and was able to do my defense that day and that was all that all that mattered to me that day i was able to do that and you know the whole anxiety of me you know the whole pressure i put on myself once i got into that place you know i was kind of nervous at first but when i got to like start when i said explain myself like putting out like putting out what i had already re read in my head out there and like explaining my whole chapter one to three like guys i was you know at that point instead of blaming myself i was like if why did you stress yourself so much about this you could actually handle this why did you stress yourself so much about this but i'm not going to totally blame myself for that and guys i'm sorry if i'm speaking so fast that's how i talk and when i try to reduce the way i talk i stammer so um guys please bear with me so um that was what happened to me on tuesday on monday and tuesday for my defense and that was what happened and guys i went through a lot this semester i've been through a lot my friends and i have been through a lot i former john have been through a lot and guys um i'm so grateful for you guys a lot of you guys like saw me at the hospital you guys, some of you guys beated me one person gave me at the hospital i think and somebody also met me the other day outside and was asking me how my health was what i was getting better and i'm so thankful for you guys i'm thankful for you guys and i'm so thankful for those that also walk up to me in school and say hi to me that they know me from tiktok they know me from youtube i'm so grateful for you guys without you guys i wouldn't have made it this far and yeah i'm so grateful for you guys thank you for god for having making me able to be making it able for me to do my mini project defense and all thanks be to god and guys we grew on tiktok we're now on 9400 followers it's all you guys it's you guys plus you guys you can follow if you vlogs on tiktok to stay updated i'm more active there i'm not even active on my instagram no more for now and guys i'm not going to promise that i'm going to keep on consistently posting videos because my exams are going to be coming up in two weeks time i have a lot of assignments to complete this week and this was just the little time i had to film this video for you guys um my little advice to every final year student or any university student out there that is stressing about things, uni stress, uni stress is going to be there, personal stress is going to be there. But my only advice is that do not think, take things too hard. I'm going to tell you guys that thing, taking things too hard, it's not going to be helpful for you guys. It's not going to be helpful. It's not going to take you anywhere. Like, take things one step at a time. Taking things one step at a time is going to help you a lot. It's not stressing over things, don't over pressurize yourself about stress because stress is still going to be there so it's just better for us to take things one at a time because 
I had to go through that. I put my health at stake and it was only God that brought me out of that situation. So my advice to university students is that you shouldn't stress about a lot of things. Uni stress is going to be there. So guys, I finally come to the end of this video. I just wanted to make this video to explain my whole self, disappearance. The last video wasn't enough for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll be putting more content hopefully for you guys and i like you to like this video if you like to subscribe to my channel if you haven't at this point and i'll see you guys in the next one for now bye bye and guys say what to think about my hair in the comments because i've been getting a lot of um compliments about my curls in school your hair it's fine your hair it's fine and for all of those telling me that thank you <laughs> so guys i'll see you guys in my next one for now bye bye <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah.